Hello everyone. So today we're going to be looking at The Polywog, and this is a poem by author Guterman. Now April, as we all know, is the National Month of Poetry, so that's why we're going to be doing a lot of poetry this month. Now, the t let's look at this poem. Let's first read through it. The Polywog. Oh, the polywog is woggling in his pleasant native bog, with his beady eyes a-goggling through the underwater fog, and his busy tail a-joggling, and his eager head a-gog, just a happy little frogling who is bound to be a frog. Now, let's look at the title. What is a polywog? Do we know? So let's see what it talks about. We know a polywog has native in a bog, pond area lives underwater, he has a tail, eager head, little frogling, bound to be a frog. So from all this, we can infer that it's related to a frog, but it lives underwater, it's a frogling, so before a frog, we can infer that maybe it's a tadpole, which is the stage before he gets to frog. Now, let's count the lines. Ready? Count with us. One, Two, let me fix that two there right quick. <laughs> Three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. So this poem has eight lines, okay? Now, let me change the color of our marker so we can work on the rhyme scheme. And let's do our rhyme scheme in blue. So first to find out which words rhyme, we rhyme scheme is based on the last word in the line. So let's underline it. So let's see, woggling and bog. Now does bog and woggling, do they rhyme? No. So the first one's always going to get an A. But now if it rhymes, if bog rhymed with woggling, it would get an A. But since it doesn't, it gets the next letter of the alphabet, B. Now let's see, the third line, a goggling. Does, let's see what word goggling rhymes with. It rhymes with woggling, right? So it would get the letter A. Very good. Now, let's see the next line. Our last word is fog. Let's see, does fog rhyme with woggling or bog? Rhymes with bog, right? So it'd get a B. What about a joggling? Okay, let's see. It rhymes with woggling and a goggling, right? So it gets the letter A. Very good. What about a gog? Rhymes with fog and bog, right? So it gets the letter B. Now what about frogling? Okay, it rhymes with woggling, goggling, and a joggling, right? So it gets the letter A. And then last line? Frog, it rhymes with the bog and fog and a gog, right? So it gets the letter B. So the rhyme scheme in our poem is going to be A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. Very good. Now, we are going to learn, to help us learn this poem, we are going to put it to song. Okay, so I'm going to sing it for you right quick. Oh, the polywog is woggling in his pleasant native bog with his beady eyes a goggling through the underwater fog and his busy tail a joggling and his eager head a gog just a happy little frogling who is bound to be a frog. Okay, so what I want you to do is repeat after me, okay? So I'm going to sing the first two lines and then you're going to sing the first two lines, sort of like that, and then we'll sing the whole song together. Ready? Oh, the polywog is woggling in his pleasant native bog. The polywog is woggling in his pleasant native bog. With his beady eyes a goggling through the underwater fog. With his beady eyes a goggling through the underwater fog. And his busy tail a joggling and his eager head a gog. And his busy tail a joggling and his eager head a gog. Just a happy little frogling who is bound to be a frog. Just a happy little frogling who is bound to be a frog. Very good. Now, at this point, you can pause the video and go back and do that a couple times to get more familiar with the song and learn it better. Now, but we're going to move on. So let's sing the song all together. 
Oh, the pollywog is woggling in his pleasant native bog, with his beady eyes a goggling through the underwater fog, and his busy tail a joggling, and his eager head a gog. Just a happy little frogling who is bound to be a frog. Okay, now to make it more interesting, we're gonna add in some body percussion ostinatos. We're gonna put them to words first to help us learn them better while we do the body percussion, and then we're gonna put it with the song. So the first one we have is jump, oh frog, jump, oh frog, just like that. Now on the word jump, you're gonna pat your legs. On the word O, oh, we're gonna snap. And on the word frog, we're gonna clap. So let's do it all together, ready? It's gonna be jump, oh frog, jump, oh frog, jump, oh frog. Very good. Now, the second ostinato is here the tadpoles come a joggling. Here the tadpoles come a joggling. And now what we're gonna do for that one is we're gonna pat either on your lap or on the table. I like to use the table, it gives it a different sound. So let's try it together. Ready, set, here we go. Here the tadpole come a joggling. Here the tadpoles come a joggling. Here the tadpoles come a joggling. Very good. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna sing it and we're gonna put it with, you're gonna try and fit it in with my singing. And I'm gonna be doing it in the video too, okay? So let's try it, ready? We're gonna do the first one with jump, oh frog. Pat, snap, clap. Jump, oh frog, ready? Now start with me in the video. One, two, here you go. Oh, the pollywog is wobbling in his designated oh, frog. frog. With his beady eyes oh, are goggling through the Jump. underwater oh, frog. frog. And his dizzy Jump. tail is goggling oh, in his Jump. eager head. Oh, frog. Just a happy Jump. little oh, frog. goggling who was bound to be oh, a frog. frog. Good job. Now let's move on to the second autostonato with Here the tadpoles come a joggling. Here the tadpoles come a joggling. One, two, say it with me, go. Here the tadpoles come a joggling. Here the tadpoles come a joggling. Now you're gonna do it with the next video. Ready? One, two, here you go. Oh, the pollywog is woggling in his pleasant native fog. With his beady eyes a goggling through the underwater fog. And his dizzy tail a joggling and his eager head a goggling. Just a happy little frogling who is bound to be a frog. Very good. Now we're going to put all three parts together with me singing and doing both ostinatos in the next video. Your job is just to pick one. So pick one really quickly. Jump o frog or hear the tadpoles come out joggling. Now you're going to play along with the video. Ready, set, here you go. Oh, the pollywog is woggling in his designated fog. Frog. With his jump beady the eyes a goggling the through the underwater fog. And his dizzy tail a joggling in his eager head a frog. Just a happy little frogling who was bound to be a frog. Great job. Now do the part, the ostinato, that you didn't do last time. Ready? One, two, here you go. Oh, the pollywog is woggling in his designated fog. With his beady eyes a goggling through the underwater fog. And his dizzy tail a joggling in his eager head a frog. Just a happy little frogling who was bound to be a frog. Great job! Now you're going to take out the words and just do the body percussion rhythm. Now pick your line, jump over frog or hear the tadpoles come a joggling, and do it with just the body percussion. Ready? One, two. Here you go. Oh, the pollywog is woggling in his pleasant native bog. With his beady eyes a goggling through the underwater fog. And his dizzy tail a joggling and his eager head a gog. Just a happy little frogling who was bound to be a frog. Great job. Now let's do the other ostinato that you didn't do last time. Ready, set, here you go. Oh, the pollywog is woggling in his pleasant native bog. With his beady eyes a goggling through the underwater fog. And his dizzy tail a joggling and his eager head a gog. Just a happy little frogling who was bound to be a frog. Great job. Now, let's learn a little bit more about tadpoles and how they become frogs. Frogs are an amphibious species, which means they can live in both land and water. Now, they also go through what's called metamorphosis. That's this big word on the screen, metamorphosis. Can you say metamorphosis? Good job. Now, 
Metamorphosis means that it is a change or a transformation from an immature form or a baby form into a, an adult form in, with two or more distinct phases. So in this diagram, we have six distinct phases. We start with the egg, then we go to the tadpole, then we have the third stage right here is the tadpole with two legs, the fourth stage is tadpole with four legs, and see, one, two, three, and four. And then five, the fifth stage, is the froglet, which is a frog, basically. It's almost a frog, but it still has that little tail at the end. And then finally, the sixth adult phase is finally the frog. Now, to sum it up, they start with the egg, then they go to the tadpole, they get their legs, and then they form a froglet. And when the tail is all gone, they're a frog. Another insect we think about with metamorphosis is caterpillars turning into butterflies. Now for your assignment, I want you to either take a video or a picture of you or you and a family member doing the ostinatos with the song. Make sure that you are having fun, staying safe, washing your hands. We'll see you next week.